Their employees knew what they were doing was effed up, quote unquote. Elon Musk is dropping some Twitter files on their censorship of the Hunter Biden laptop story. Fox Business correspondent Kelly O'Grady is here with the latest. Kelly. Hi, good to see you, Jesse. Yeah, Elon just held everyone's Friday night hostage with these bombshells. So I kind of want to walk you through what's going on here. So journalist Matt Taibbi is painting a very long run up. I think we're at 34 or 35 tweets. It might have changed while we're on the air of how Twitter suppressed the Hunter Biden laptop story. So here's what we know thus far. First, Twitter suppressed the story by removing links, posting warnings that it may be unsafe, and even blocked transmission of it via direct message. We learned from these tweets that that's actually a tool that was reserved for child pornography. Now, this all escalated when Kaylee McEnany had her account locked for sharing it. There was an inquiry made from the Trump social media team that led to a lot of back and forth then between internal teams, Twitter's communications team, and their policy team. I want to bring up this tweet. Uh, it was numbered 21 in Taib saga here because it shows evidence of why Twitter censored the story. Uh, so it says, per checking, the user was bounced by site integrity for violating our hacked materials policy, adding them here for further insights and guidance. Now, it gets confusing because Taibbi is saying that sources share that the government had not confirmed that hack through sources. Um, over the next few tweets, we're learning that Jack Dorsey was not involved and that this really, this decision really came down to Vijaya Gaj, she's the head of legal, now fired from the company by Musk, and others in the company that were also focused on policy. There's a number of screenshots that have been shared, uh, many showing that former head of safety, Yoel Roth, felt that they had moved too quickly on this and that they haven't given, uh, they hadn't found enough evidence that they should have taken motion on this because they didn't really know that it was it was hacked. I want to bring up another tweet. This was tweet number 27 because it really drives that point home. It says, quote, uh, to Ian's point, can we truthfully claim that this is part of the policy as part of our approach to addressing potentially hacked materials? We are limiting visibility of related stories on Twitter while our investigation is ongoing. You know, but clearly they did it anyway. And so really what you're seeing in these tweets, Jesse, is this back and forth of some folks at the company saying, hey, we're moving too quickly. We shouldn't be doing this. And other folks saying, you know what, we're doing this. We've, we're already deep in, we need to keep going and really focusing on that hacked uh, policy. And so more is coming out right now, um, but it's really this internal strife. All right, Kelly, thank you so much. It's the most wonderful time of the year.